back. Finally, we're gonna catch up on some things. My house has no internet, so it's just a rough time right now, okay? Yeah. But <laughs> we're here to do Zion T and Crest just, and I just can't because y'all know how Y'all know things. how we feel about Zion T and Crush. If you still haven't listened to Crush's album, you're, you're missing out. So, okay, here we go. Mm. Nice little Buick. culture concert and honestly Zanti and Crush is just one of those people that I like had already accepted that I would never see in my whole entire life For real, especially Zanti yeah I never thought they would come here or anything like that but the fact that they are like it literally gives me anxiety like I don't talk about it I don't want to think about it I don't want to see tweets about it like it just it stresses me out because I know it's gonna be like everything I've ever wanted in life so while I was watching this like I was actually like low key sweating because I'm like, I can't. You can't handle that in real life. I can't. Like, just to think about the fact, like, how we at first we thought we would never see Shiny or never see Big Bang, and then we saw them, like, like you said, even further off in my thoughts was Zion T because he's not. They're not like K pop. The, yeah, they're not K pop. It's like. They're not underground either. Yeah. It's just like. 
They're yeah, just they're a different right. genre. Yeah. K-pop is like the popular thing, so obviously they would come over here more. So many people have been over here in the past couple mm -hmm. of years, but like I just would have never thought that. To me, it's just like R and B, and it just happens to be in Korean. Yeah. Like it's just straight up R and B. Can't even wrap my brain around the fact. Nope. Skinny red. <laughs> Get it red. Crush on top of it, plus dynamic duo in primary. Like, I mean that, okay, it's let's talk about shows. the song and the MV okay. before I forget. Like, the MV was perfect, the song was perfect. Like, this is, I mean, they've done two melodies and they have their other song, Hey Baby. Like, anything that they do together, obviously is gonna be amazing mm -hmm. like and even the fact that this is just a song and then like when their album comes out like i haven't even thought about that album like in my head i'm like they can keep that mm -hmm. because my heart literally can't take <laughs> like i don't either. i don't want to know anything like i don't want to see updates i don't <laughs> i don't, don't want to know what it's gonna come out i don't want to know what it's called i don't need to know any of this information i have like never in my life felt this way about these artists before and i'm it's like mm, mm -mm. Their sound is amazing. Their voices yeah. are both amazing. And when they're together, anything they do together, anything they do together or separate is mm -hmm. amazing and flawless. Like they're the definition of like musicality. Like they produce music. They love music. They jam out to music. They are music. Their names are Zion T and Crush. Like, come on. Like it just it's real yeah. music. Like, like did you even hear? Like, do you hear that song? The pianos and all it just like took you and I know from the video it seemed like it was supposed to be a sad song because like Courtney said like who died but just like listening to it if I didn't see the video and just heard the song I would just think it was like I don't know not sad I don't know like a smooth a smooth song like smooth yeah I just wouldn't get a sad feel from it because their voices are just so <sighs> so on that note so on that note let us know what you guys think in the comments. Let us know if you're going to the concert in Atlanta or New York. Let us know how you feel about Zion T and Crush. Like, do you feel the same way? Like, you literally just can't with them. And we will see you guys later. Bye. Bye.